Is it important to have a strategy around organisation and time management? And if so, why? So again, we've kind of touched on this, haven't we? But I guess um, it's, yeah, do, do, you, do you have it from the outset? Do you have a strategy that you stick to or is it something that, that develops over time or, yeah? I think it's best to um, have a strategy around both from the start. And the reason I say that is because if you have the good organize, there is sort of a lot of overlap and interweaving between all the different strategies that we use. And you're actually setting up your schedule and your time and your organization to suit what works for you. So like, you know, and for me, it can if you get into the habit of doing something a certain way, you get more skilled at that habit and then you get faster at that habit. So the organization part of organizing your resources becomes second nature and that saves time. Whereas if you're starting something fresh every time and falling away from it and then think, oh, and then there's one folder with 30 different articles and you haven't named them and you haven't a clue what's in them well then that takes even more time to try and figure out what they are and rename them so that you can find them or even allocate them to thematic folders um i think studying isn't easy it's enjoyable but there can be challenges with it because we are people, we're humans, we have to balance an awful lot of stuff around it. We don't know what's going on in any of any student's life. Um, they might have their own personal stuff, health stuff they're dealing with. There might be stuff around them that's happening. And I think to make it easier for you to manage this section of your life, having those skills and taking the time to develop those skills can only hold you in good stead. And particularly if you're in first year and second year, I think there's been some really good tips here this morning that if you can even take two or three of them and apply them in the course of your journey, it will definitely just make your study life, your study journey, your learning journey easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where in would you have anything to add to that? I suppose, you know, kind of what I and apologize, the dog is throwing himself against the door here. Um, I suppose what I kind of want to really say is that as an undergraduate, I had awful habits like, you know, I, I'm, I was a lifelong learner, you know, so it was really a case of trying to fit stuff in around, you know, um, working full time and 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 family demands and all of that. And I definitely, for the first couple of years, very much struggled, you know, and had very kind of bad habits, uh, just even just in terms of sitting in the bed trying to get work done. And the implications of that, you know, um, and of course, now I, I the, the, the PhD, I was privileged because I had I was able to do it full time and that made all the difference. But just to say the kind of bad habits I had was really because I I didn't I didn't really have the skill to allocate time as such. Looking back, I could have, but you know, like I don't know. Um, but if if there was one thing I can say, is that I was by no means an expert in time management whatsoever as an undergrad. Uh, but I did feel that in terms of kind of looking after my well being and my mental health, uh, which is really kind of fundamental to any to your quality of learning and um, that's why i that's why i feel that kind of some of these tips and equally one thing i also have noticed was like what the message that seems to be coming through is there's a lot of different strategies for different people um and so therefore if you're listening to another student who is getting up at like four in the morning or whatever else that may not be for you but kind of the message that I could bring across is it's very much trial and error. But if you can try to kind of build the foundations of that early in your learning journey, uh, it will stand to you. And I would imagine make the whole thing a lot more enjoyable. Yeah. Absolutely. But I'd have to. Um, I think that's a really good point. And I would. I suppose if I look back to my undergrad, I was in the opposite situation, straight from school, full time, 
no other demands. And I struggled. I had such bad habits, really struggled, overwhelmed, you know, ignoring things. And like that, just didn't just didn't have the skills. And I think the thing you learn as you go on, kind of like you're saying, it's nearly like you learn what your bad habits are and you just recognize them and can stop them earlier. So it's not really. Of course, some people are just naturally gifted at this like anything, but it's it's most of us don't have a natural ability for it because at the end of the day, like we're all saying, we would prefer to focus on one task. This multitask mm-hmm. thing is not easy for most people. Uh, mm-hmm. All these competing demands and that's like not including life. That's just even within just college, the competing demands that you have. So I think it's really about recognizing and maybe just having to enforce what's going to curb you from those bad habits or what's going to improve them. So like that, am I procrastinating? OK, sit down and just do it. You know, am I ignoring deadlines? OK, set them, put it in a calendar, color code it, work backwards, have a plan, those kind of things, you know, and you're going against the grain and you're kind of pulling yourself out. And it's really you have to just like regulate, I suppose, isn't it? It's learning that ability to self-regulate and discipline yourself with a few key strategies you know, and recognising, okay, I know that I'm going to sit and do loads of reading and not actually write, okay, so I'm not going to let myself do that. I'm going to set a Pomodoro timer and I'm going to just Mm. start and by the, and I'll stop in an hour, but just do that, you know, so it's a couple of key things like that, I think can really, really help. Um, Yeah. And also rewarding yourself, you know, and that might be so daft, that might be like, you know, you, you know, lighting a candle while you're working or I don't know, but doing it in a nice kind of environment, <laughs> have a nice notebook, have a nice pen. You know, I don't know what it is. Meet for meet, have your hour with your work and then go and meet someone for a coffee. But yeah. it is about, you know, because, yes, we've we, we have said it is about doing stuff that you don't want to do. Um, and so therefore, naturally reward yourself along the way.